Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around. Um, I'm not Solon Scott, but we'll get that fixed right now. What? Um, I, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Solon's been holding the fort down all day. Big ups to him, like for sure. Been working working his ass off for sure. But yeah, welcome welcome back to the main channel of Indy 3. Um, in case you missed it, we are live in Redmond. With that, uh, we're at Logical's house, our voice of God right now, who's also controlling some of the Shh. panels and stuff. It, it it's our it's our studio in a, at an undisclosed location. At an undisclosed location. Yes. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, we got we got some more trailers to show for you guys. This one's gonna be a little short because I have places to be soon, and also because James is doing his uh his panel on sound design soon. Sound design, right? Sound design. Uh, sound. That's the one. There yep. you go. We've got a, a variety of folks with a, a a broad collection of experience, so it should be interesting. Yep. We're going to, as as usual with our panels, we're going to probably add more people as time goes on, but we've already got a pretty big selection on that, right? Uh, Yeah. 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 How old is that? How old is that panel? Did you just make that like uh, 30 minutes it's, ago? I think we finally got everybody uh, on the same page about an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So well, that started out, the, 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 uh, the folks in the chat wanted to have it, and so we did it. So there yep. we go. Indy 3. Yep. That's how we do it. We, we got panels that we don't even know about half the time. But yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and kick off the show with a trailer that we know you've all been waiting for, of course, for a little game called Sports Ball. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Clear on my glasses.
Okay, go for it. And that was that was Sports Ball by uh, 2DX, who is actually a local developer in Seattle, who's going to be um, giving us a copy of the game to play during the showcase on the 16th. Wait, that game? Is, the developer's from Seattle? Yeah. Oh, we should get them here. Oh, yeah, we are. They're really Definitely. interested in doing that. We really want to play Sports Ball live because it looks like a ton of fun. We played uh, Sports Ball during Solin's punk-ass gamer streamer Cascadia tour. Yeah, I remember and that. And it was a, a big hit. Yeah, sorry if I look distracted. I'm I'm pulling up a bunch of stuff right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna load up the uh, the um the press kit for this game because it looks it looks it's got a lot of information and it does my job for me. So you know, there you go. Fly, dive, and tackle your way to victory. Outmaneuver your opponents, knocking them out and toss them to the ball into the goal. As as you can imagine with all sports games, of course. Um, we got some we got some history over here. Uh, the idea the idea behind this game is of course going back to couch couch games, which is something that um we at Alpha Six Productions, my little development studio, has also been thinking about as well. Um we definitely need more couch games, especially nowadays with how online has kind of taken prevalence and now people kinda don't want to play a game unless it has online multiplayer and then offline just kinda gets thrown to the back burner. But yeah, that's that's definitely a thing I've been seeing in indie more in general, of course. But yeah, it's uh this is Sports Friends. It's got giant birds, jousting, explosions in sports games, which as you can imagine are all very required when it comes to these kinds of games. It's apparently so easy to play a 6-year-old could do it. So we're we'll, we'll see if our if our 6-year-olds over here can do that on the 16th when we show it off live. Supports so many players you need a second couch. Wow. Hmm, I wonder I guess it depends on player size. I'm I'm a big guy, so I take up like 3 seats myself. But Enough, enough of all that. Let's see some pictures here. I mean, you, you just saw the video, but I mean, like, this game does have its own really unique kind of art style going on for it. And as you can tell, it's got a nice little FPS counter there for us. Whether or not that's intentional, I couldn't tell you, but it's good to have. And, all right. So, let me let me pull that right back up. Um, yeah, give me, give me, give me a second. It's not a big deal, I promise. No, it actually kind of is, though, but yeah. Um, we have uh, Awards and Recognition. It's one hell of a party game by Jeff Thu of HardcoreGamer.com. Matches our beautiful mix of chaos and strategy. Wesley G. GameSkinny.com. So does that mean that we have uh, the Smash Killer, finally? No more no more Smash Brothers? Is it over now? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, you can you can request a press copy. So if you're a writer, you should probably do that. If get you know Get multiple people so you can actually play it together. I don't know if it's got single player or not, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Um, about 2DX, we are a game studio. We make radical games. Games that challenge the player. We make those. Good. Games that get the crowd roaring. We make those. Two people, lots of ideas. <laughs> I can relate. Um, Austin's made some great games all the way back to his student work. Ned's been a gamer his whole life and has worked in one of the most strong running, the most longest running game stores in the USA. He's also beaten R-Type, which, honestly, that's that's a that's a feat right there because that game is ridiculous especially especially the second one the second one is like off the wall when it comes to difficulty but yeah we do what we do because we love games more than that we love sharing games with everybody the experience of a great game is something that we want to give people which is great because we at indie 3 feel the exact same way like that is the, that is the entire reason that this whole thing exists in the first place which once again seriously thank all of you for being a part of this because like with without you guys, we wouldn't like this wouldn't be nearly as awesome as it is. 
Um, I'm gonna F Leonard Rogan. Yeah, you can uh, you can find their Twitter at twitter.com slash two underscore dx. They're on Facebook at facebook.com slash bosses forever, and they have their website at two dx.com. And uh, this uh, this whole press kit that we're looking at here was made by Rami Ismail of the Lamb Beer. If if you've maybe heard of him, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, this is this is uh, sports ball. Looks great. We're gonna be playing it very soon live over here on the 16th couldn't tell you what time but you may as well just watch it all day anyways because it's gonna be it's all gonna be awesome and now i'm going to go on to the next game right now Alright, that was Drew and the Floating Labyrinth. That is a, a very distinctive looking game that um one second, I have I have information right here. Give me give me a moment, alright? Alright. Cause I've I've got a lot of emails here, so of course you have to go through all this crap. But yeah. Um it's uh as you can tell it's got a very distinctive art style. It's all hand drawn, but it's still got it's all hand drawn, but it's still in that three D space, you know, so it's got that uh that you have the art that's drawn in like eight angles, but the angle doesn't change unless it goes to a certain perspective. Um, I actually did play the game a little bit while I was going through the trailers and stuff on the sixth or the seventh, and um, it's it's a little puzzle platformer, but it's got you know it's got that really distinctive art style. You can control the camera, which is which ends up becoming like a really important thing in the later puzzles, and um, you can actually see like when you play it like all the detail that the artist and developer put into the game because there's like not only does it have like the the eight separate angles for each angle but it also has um more drawings for like top down view so he took in they took into mind um like all like any possible angle like they just wanted to be like okay so if you're going slightly up here we have another drawing that's drawn at a bit of an angle and it just it looks it looks really awesome especially because of all the obvious work that was put into it but um oh yeah that's that game is on green light um i don't have the link handy right now until it's coming at some point i have it but it's not i don't have another stream thing open but i will post it on twitter to make sure you all see it because so that that i'd like to i definitely like to see more of that game for sure and um the next game we're going to show off is an iphone and android game called First Strike. So you can check this out right now. Thank you. 
And there you go. That's that's first strike right there. First strike dot moby. So once again, that's um first strike um available on the App Store and Google Play. So if you got Android, if you got iOS, doesn't matter. You can you can play this game because they want you to. A thought-provoking and fast-paced strategy game, murdering millions with the flick of a finger in first strike will make you laugh and cry. Four out of five. Lots of lots of four out of fives. We got a four out of half out of five. An awesome game suited for casual commanders and hardcore nukers alike, you know? So if you're, you know, we, we got the casuals and the hardcores. It's all good. Everyone's everyone's covered. One of the best releases of the year. And uh, our, our boy Rami Ismail is back again. An iOS game you should probably pay attention to. Which actually, um, he had sent, I had actually read about that from Rami himself. Um, on Twitter before we had actually even gotten the submission, which is one of the reasons that I actually was like, all right, let's take a look at this and see what's going on here. Yeah, first first strike looks really great though. It's got a very it's got a very um cartoony art style. It pops out a lot. Of course there's, you know, explosions, which come on, let's let's be real. You need explosions. Yeah, check out all these look at all this right here. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize this. Yeah, it's a GIF and everything. That's great. It's loading a little bit slow, but hey, check it out. Explosions. There they are. That's that's the whole Earth. All of it. It's gone. It's ruined forever. Nothing much you can do about that. Yeah, and here's here's the regular speed version of that same GIF. Lots of lots lots of lots of things going on here. You can also see the sun moving, which leads me to believe that either they have full rotation or the world is falling apart and all the universe is just losing its mind and everyone's going to die. Let's let's hope not. Well, yeah. We have uh, a lot of a lot of stuff in here in this uh whole this devlog that talks about bombs specifically, which is kind of kind of interesting. Looks like they've got a lot of write-ups, a lot of write-ups on nuclear bombs, so I guess if you're into nuclear bombs, you should check out First Strike's blog, because they're going completely ridiculous with it. <laughs> yeah, but that is, that's First Strike. Go ahead and switch it back if you want. But, um, yeah, we're, we're actually getting ready to close up the, some of this stuff pretty early. Like I said, it, was, it wasn't going to be a very long one. Because I got, I got places to go. We got James getting ready to do his panel. So we got to have some time to set that up. Um, I hear Indy 4 is actually getting pretty emotional about the panel that's going on right now. So maybe if you want to see another side of Indy that you haven't seen before, you know, go take a look. We've, we've got emotions too. We, we all got problems. That's, a, that's the panel about um, saving people's lives through streaming and Let's Play. Yeah? We we're talking about like... Um, like how you can like help other people who make games or help other people who do let's play by doing that kind of stuff because it I, I don't I don't know what they're talking about right now, so I'm honestly not even gonna try and bullshit y'all, but definitely go check it out. That's hitbox.tv slash indie four. And yeah, we will be back in a bit. James, our voice of God, will be taking over with um his panel on sound design. So <laughs> once again, thank you all for coming. I'm so glad that all of you have sticked around as long as you have and you know dealt with this while we've had all the technical issues and stuff like that but we are we're really we're really glad to have people like you like on our back and helping us out with this and just spreading the word blowing up the hashtag all the all that kind of stuff so again thank you so much and james we'll see you in a bit all right we'll be with you in just a moment with our panel on indies and audio